Okay, so the walnut table here is finally done. I just uh, put the last coat of tongue oil on it here. I really like the way it turned out. I think the tabletop looks really cool. Uh, I really like how the, uh, oh, you know, I really like the book matching there, and it just it turned out really well. I'm really, uh, really quite pleased. Um, just kind of a simple, you know, simple yet elegant kind of design here. Uh, you know, just the uh, cedar uh, cedar trunk uh, there split in half for the legs, and, you know, just kind of all, all reclaimed wood, and uh, it turned out really well. I'm quite pleased with the way it turned out here. Definitely, uh, definitely nice. I just sanded the top. Uh, I went went over it again, uh, all the way up to 200 or to 400. I noticed there were a couple of swirl marks uh, from the uh, Rotax there that I'd missed. So I just started off at uh, 80 and went over it, and then worked my way up to 400 again, and that took out the last of the last of the swirl marks that I'd missed. I just kind of went over the edges here lightly with the uh, the Raz or RAS 115 by Festool. I really like that for cleaning up the edges of stuff like this. It kind of, you know, still leaves enough of a roughness uh, to it, uh, you know, to kind of make it feel a little, you know, earthy, but yet, you know, it gets rid of the kind of rough chainsaw marks that, you know, you kind of, uh, you know, will kind of snag on stuff. So it kind of still gives it a cool look. You know, again, just left it natural edges there, and I'm really quite pleased. I just came in and yeah, stabilized all the wormholes and stuff like this with epoxy. And, uh, it, uh, it turned out really well. I'm quite pleased. Anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, click, comment, subscribe. Anything else you want to see? Um, I, the part of this, uh, I was kind of in a hurry um, to get done, so I didn't uh, get it on video. Um, I do have some other projects coming up here, but uh, uh, that I'll try and be better about um, you know, getting on video. I've just been under a ridiculous time crunch lately. So anyway, yeah, thanks to, thanks to everybody for watching, and uh, click comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. I'll try and get the train bed video up here this weekend. I know I keep saying that, but uh, I get busy and end up working all weekend. So anyway, thanks for watching.